right guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna to be working on this eight foot bed uh, that's stuck on here these bolts have been on here for like 20 years and every time if you ever done this you know they don't come off check this out all right guys here's the truck we're working on today I think this is a 2000 f350 7.3 liter two-wheel drive dually nice looking truck got that nice amber paint on there that's hard to find not the work truck orange but it's a really nice orange that everyone wants uh this is a nice truck now we're going to be talking about how to get these bed bolts out they're very stubborn so uh let's get started look at that right there torx bit snapped right off in the head and uh i know i believe what i forget whatever size it is but there's like a, a socket that really fits nicely in there and even if you, you get that in there half the time you can't get these bolts out they've just been in there for way too long so today i'm going to show you an easy way to get it off by cutting them off but a very efficient way to cut them off without uh really chopping into your bed or or messing stuff up so i'm going to show you a really easy way to do it and it doesn't take long it's super efficient and anyways you're better off cutting these ones and putting brand new ones on um, new hardware all around when you put a new bed back on the truck. So uh, that's the deal with this. So if you don't want your Torx bits to get chewed up like this, then watch the rest of this video, I'll show you. So let's get started. All right, so what the object is gonna be here is to cut this head off without really digging into the bed. Now, if you follow these steps and you're really careful, you'll have very minimal to none uh, to no damage on this bed. So the idea here is we're gonna cut uh, a cross in it. We're gonna cut one across and one across this way. And we're gonna go all the way down through the washer so that we can kind of cut this washer into four pieces. We're gonna take a screwdriver and wedge it out each piece, which whichever way. And then uh, the bolt head, we can be able to get the blade under there then after we get this washer cut up and then just cut the bolt head off. But um, if you try to go sideways with the washer as it is now, you're probably going to break a blade, it's going to blow up in your face, uh, you get the pinched in there, or even so, you can damage the bed if you miss, and it's going to be hard to do it that way without getting that washer out. With the washer out, it's really easy and efficient, so um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut all these, we're going to cut across in each one of them, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Alright, so what you're going to need to do this is a standard grinder and cut off wheels I'd probably get a couple probably only gonna need one but just in case you break one um, I like to get a big screwdriver so when I go to hit the washer out I can just hit it with a hammer and you need that in a hammer and then that's pretty much it and safety glass is important too so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in the next All right, now you can see I got it in an X. So whatever, cross X. And uh, that's gonna work fine. We're just gonna put the screwdriver right here. I'm gonna put a big screwdriver right here. And we're gonna tap out that washer each of the four quarters. And then uh, we'll be able to cut the head off flush. So right now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do all the X's right now. And then uh, we'll come back and I'll show you me tapping them out. All right. I got the rest of them all done and I wasn't going to film it honestly you're just at this point if you're watching this video you're so frustrated you just want to get these things off so I'm not going to waste your time showing you me cutting the same bolt over and over again but I just cut a little x in them the front two are a little more difficult to get but as long as you kind of get two slices in it you're fine and you can see this is probably the worst that it's going to be you're going to get a little bit of scratch like that and uh, if you're really careful, you won't get anything, but um, I mean, it's minor. It's just a, just a bed you can cover with a bed liner and stuff. So very efficient. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap the washers out. All right, I'm going to take my big screwdriver. I'm going to put it right on one of the notches. And I'm going to tap it with a hammer and uh, we're just going to separate the washer. Now, if any point you notice that the washer is not separating and you need to get your grinder out and do a little more then so be it. I mean, just use uh use a little bit more uh cutting and uh slice through that washer and best you can and then hit it out like this so
Just like that, we're gonna do the four corners. And then just like that, you can see that washer came separated. And now there's a little bit of room to sneak a blade under there, just like this. You know, a little bit of room to get your blade under here. And you can cut it all the way around and really not mess up your bed too badly. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna tap all the washers so you don't have to watch it. And then um, I will cut the heads off. Uh, as I'm doing this, it's falling down a little bit because once you take the washer out of the gap, the uh, bolt will, will fall down a little bit. But uh, what I do now is I'm gonna keep a little piece of the washer under there just that there's this better gap. I'm gonna cut it from this side. And then uh, once I get really through, then I can take the washer out. But I'm gonna leave like a quarter or so of the washer, or in this case a half, on each of these so that there's a little bit more of a gap to get the blade under there and then I will cut it off and uh, it'll be easier that way without the bolt dropping with the whole bed. All right, I have all of the washers tapped out now and I did that little trick, like I said, where you keep half the washer or a quarter of the washer under there and uh, it keeps the, the bolt head up a little bit so we can slice it. And uh, in this case, a lot of the washers came out in halves basically six out of eight, but um, my cuts didn't penetrate all the way through. But nonetheless, I mean, it still does the same thing. If you have a really tough one, that's why I like to cut it in the corners, is, or at the quarters, because uh, if you have a really tough one uh, and the bed's like all deformed and really wavy and stuff, it's tough to get out. But uh, this halfway halfway cuts worked. And um, nonetheless, let's, let's go ahead, I'll go slice the, the bolt off i'm just going to get the, the blade nice and even under there and cut it out all right this part you want to be really careful you don't pinch the blade because it will blow up so just be really careful and go slow Now you can see that came out pretty good. It was really not that hard. And uh, you're gonna get into the bed just a little bit, but it's just, I mean, it's just grinding it. So uh, if you wanna repaint it or whatever, or uh, throw the bed liner in, you'll never see any of that. So really easy. And you see cutting it into quarters really makes it easy because it's already, these bolts heads are already sectioned off. So when you cut them, they just come off in pieces. And uh, I mean, that's really not that bad. I dug in a little bit there, but that's really not anything crucial. If you're really careful, you won't, you'll just get a little bit of this grinding right here, which is nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them all off and this bed will be unattached. All right, everyone, they're cut off. Let me hop up here real quick. They're all cut off and there's not really big slices in my bed some grinding on the top, but uh, didn't really dig into the bed too bad. These two are pinned in the butt. I got there a little bit, but uh, that's that. Just like the front two are a little bit of a pain in the butt, but um, easy, efficient way to do it. Now all that's left is really to disconnect the filler neck. Filler neck's just three bolts. Let me show you real quick. Uh, take this cap off. All right, cap off. Got one bolt, two bolt, three bolt seven millimeters and of course you got like your tail lights and everything i'll just show you, show you real quick i'll call down under here 
Uh, lighting is not great, but let me get the camera up in here. Right, right there you got that harness that runs across. And uh, that stays with the bed. You got two plugs over here. A little two plugs, so you just follow me, undo them. And then uh, the wiring will go with the bed. Like the tail lights and everything, you don't have to take them out. And uh, these will go with it too. Easy. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know my northern friends definitely did. Whoever's got trucks up here in Salty Land definitely did because you get rusty bolts, they'll never come out. I'm telling you that right now. You'll snap every Torx bit that you can buy um, or you'll break your wrench or something like that because these will just not come out. The, it's just a bad design with the Torx bit, but um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you in the next video.